I'm Sam Stepani, I'm 24. I live in Doncaster and I've completed the coding traineeship with IT Career Switch. I first learned to code during a university project. I really enjoyed the problem solving and creative thinking required to design useful software. After graduating from uni in chemical engineering, I worked for a trailer manufacturer where I started to sway towards software driven projects and that's when I realised I wanted to pursue a career in software development. I began teaching myself software development for about six months and started to apply for jobs. However, it was clear that I didn't have the correct experience employees were looking for. Back in the summer of 2020, I discovered the traineeship with IT Career Switch. It had good reviews and was cheap, so I decided to give it a go. I found that the traineeship gave me the experience employers were looking for by completing online courses, an exam, two applications and a portfolio, all under the guidance of a mentor. My favourite part of the traineeship was the development of applications because I found it very rewarding to create something useful and help cement everything I'd learned so far. I then started applying for jobs and accepted a job offer to be an application developer at a company called Segero, which is a startup specialising in IT infrastructure, applications and telecommunications. My day-to-day -day responsibilities include being in meetings to understand customer and software requirements for ongoing and upcoming projects, end-to-end -end development of applications, which include designing and prototyping, database design, software architecture, development and testing. Since starting work at Segera over a year ago, I've learned how to create a software as a service application from start to finish, create an onboarding process for new customers, and maintain cloud-based applications using Amazon Web Services. The first thing I'll do after getting to my desk is write a to-do list for the day to help keep me focused and stay productive. Then I'll go ahead and check my emails. Now I'll start work by updating a customer's web app that is designed to help manage telecommunication spending. I've created a program that automates the extraction, cleaning and ingestion of bills each month. So I'll go ahead, run the program and test the site to make sure that the reports are updated correctly. Next up is to create some designs for an upcoming application. So I'll stick on some tunes and use Figma to make interactive prototypes so customers can get a feel for how their app will look and work before production. Once it hits 12, I'll usually exercise at the gym or in the back garden with this little guy. After a quick lunch, I'm ready to start work for the afternoon. In the afternoon, I'll start developing and testing some new features for the app. I like to mix up my day with a combination of design work and software development. So when my creative juices run dry after designing, I'll shift towards solving problems by coding. After a quick refuel, I'm in a meeting with my manager in which I'll present the prototype designs that I was working on earlier. We'll discuss amendments and new features based on requirements from the customer. Then it's back to coding to finish off the day. When it comes to my tech stack, I specialise in the Python framework Django for the back end and the JavaScript framework React for the front end. Here are a few other technologies I also use frequently. After work, I'll do some chilling, socialise or maybe even some freelance work. If you'd like to check out my work, you can head over to samstapani.com. If you're thinking about starting a career in coding, I'd recommend IT Career Switch as they've helped me progress to where I am today. I hope this video has helped and thanks for watching.